let's do the unboxing and complete setup of samsung interactive whiteboard wad and it is on android 13 os At the back you will see there are two handles so one is here so you can hold this from here and the another one is at the other end. Next is to install the Wi-Fi module so that has to be installed just here just underneath this section just next to the pen here and you just have to unscrew a plate and then plug in the Wi-Fi module. And it also comes with the two magnetic writing pens. One is here and second one is here. At the back of the screen you will see the power plug is there and on off button is here. So you just have to switch on it from here. And then you will see the red light here. Now press this button and it will switch on the main screen. Click start and it will search for the available Wi-Fi networks. Select your network and enter its password. So it may take few minutes for the initial setup to complete. Click next. You can skip this step. Next is to sign in the Google account. So if you have that you can just sign in or you can skip it. Click next and you can also enable or disable some of the settings. You can also set a pin for the screen. Select the country of residence. Accept privacy terms and conditions. And you will see the main screen after a few seconds. And here we can start using it. That's the main screen. And we can start using it for the notes. Click on the notes. So that is the whiteboard and you can just start writing here. So it works on the both sides and there are two pens to write. For example, that's the red color. You can also use white. You can also change the color whatever you want. If you press here. And then you can go back, you can exit or you can save it. Now I'm just going to the home screen, so click on the home. That's our home screen. You can also go to the Play Store, you can download the you can download different apps. For example, I have some apps here. You can go to the YouTube, you can watch videos. To go back again you can just click here and then click on the go back and the good thing is it also comes with the remote so it works like a TV like Prime Radio, Netflix, Disney and you can watch videos on that. Let's go to the main screen. So that's the main board where we have to work and write so overall it's a good interactive panel where which you can use for different things 
let's check some more details so go to the home so both sides you have this panel touch panel and from here you can go to the different things click on the all apps so in the app section I'm going to open the settings You can see it is connected with the internet. Here are the apps. If we scroll down, we can see more details. In the last about interactive display, WA75D. Select it. So that's the model number. We can do so many things with the interactive display panel you can see network internet connected devices so if you select here it will display all the list there whatever the apps you have or if you want to download the more apps also it gives the general information like the screen time here five minutes today notifications if we look at the storage that is here so it says 46 percent is used and there is 64 gb memory or the ROM of this interactive display panel and in that system is using around 21 GB so there is enough storage you can store videos you can store files you can store photos like the tablet it has all the options like we have the Android phone or Android tablets wallpapers you can select different styles of wallpaper and you can select the themes go back from the top again we have accessibility security privacy location safety and emergency if you want to set a password you can do that password and accounts google services administrator administrator settings system and then about the interactive display it gives all the information as i have shown you to go back Select here and click on the back icon. Now to go to the internet you can click on the browser. Google, YouTube, Wikipedia, Bing and Facebook is already there. You can open additional tabs from this place. Once you are done you can just close the tabs with your finger. Go back to the main screen. Now another thing is if you want to connect with the PC you can do that it has also inbuilt slot at the back where you can install the PC and to go to the menu it will give you all the options like display, audio, PC, HDMI, 1, 2, 3 you can control different things so in the last I can say it's a very good interactive display panel from the Samsung this is WA75D that means the screen is 75 inch and that is always on the diagonal this is a large screen and it is a heavy interactive display panel it weighs more than 40 kg that's the unboxing setup and some specifications of the interactive display panel WA75D from Samsung and uh, if you want to just switch off the screen just press the power button it will switch off from here and whenever you want to reuse it you can just press this button again and it will switch it on back thanks for watching